Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. You probably have heard of LibreOffice, and if not, uh, it's free. Uh, it's actually open source. It used to be called OpenOffice, but due to some kerfuffle that happened, they ended up branching off and uh, doing their own thing, and LibreOffice is quite liberating. Uh, it's an office-like suite of software, runs cross-platform, and allows you to do word processing on the desktop, spreadsheets, drawings, presentations, really things that you would turn to a, a more expensive traditional office suite uh, to help you complete or to accomplish. Now, you can download it right now and try it. I, in the past, have, have given it a, a shot, and it, it works. But it's not without its bugs. And if you could put up with those bugs, you know, if you'd rather not spend that much money on office software, and you could put up with some bugs and you want the software to run on the desktop, I would say LibreOffice is about as good as it gets. So if you've never heard of it before, don't think that you have to go through the big name brands for your office products. Uh, now, I'm talking whether it's Apple, whether it's Microsoft, whether it's uh, Corel, uh, you know, any one of those traditional office software suites. Now, LibreOffice is good on the desktop, it, or it, it's good enough to help you accomplish the things that you probably need to accomplish. But I'm still a huge fan of Google Docs, guys. I keep telling people, you know, it's not perfect, but the more you go to a centralized location to do anything you want to do, you've suddenly found a new freedom. Uh, you're no longer tethered to a computer. And we had this video yesterday about Windows XP, and people just can't let go um, in, for whatever reason. Uh, but if they're tied to software, maybe software that provides the same solution exists on the web. In Google Docs, for me, I got to tell you, that's my default office suite. It's on the web. I can get to it from any device, any device that can access the internet. I can access Google Docs. And Google's making it better with every passing day, uh, certainly easier to use. And the fact that it's centralized, I think, is key. How many times have you been frustrated because you didn't have access to a document when you were on the road? That problem has just disappeared. Gone. You don't need to live inside an office suite on your desktop, unless you're using the browser. So if you want desktop office software and you are afraid of upgrading your current suite that works, but you want the, the latest that might be out there, LibreOffice may be the tool for you. Uh, and if you, uh, you don't want LibreOffice, if you weren't happy with it, my recommendation is look at Google Docs again. We can all use something different and still get along just fine. Uh, and, you know, I think that uh, the bottom line is we're not as tied to software as we used to be. We can get to a lot of this, these features and functionality these days, thanks to the web, uh, than, than it was back when really the only choice was between uh, Microsoft Word or WordPerfect. And, and we've certainly evolved from that point. We're not living in that day anymore. So if you didn't know it, take a look at the article. It's uh, really discussing uh, lifelong learning and the joys of LibreOffice in case you had your own perspective. Feel free to leave a comment there. I'm going to go ahead and plus one it just like Amanda Shaw, Jennifer T, Sean Jordan, Skylar Johnson, and Stacey Ferris did. Quite a few people also tweeted it. We hope you will share it with others who may find this information useful.